Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my review of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks basic figure, the Orc Horde Nocturnal Hunter. Uh, here he is in the packaging. As you can see, he is not your typical carded figure. He is a basic figure, which means he is blister blister carded. This is not collector friendly. Um, once you remove him, that's it. He's loose. And uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, this is uh, a uniquely painted orc, as opposed to the carded other carded uh, figures. Um, different loadout, like like skin, bare legs, uh, no pants, tattoos on his arms. Looks pretty cool for a basic figure. He, he's he's pretty cool. Um, here he is on the back. You see there are other three other uh, basic figures in the wave. I don't. This is wave one of the basic figures, and I'm not entirely sure. I don't think all any of these are available anymore. I could be wrong, but maybe the uh, maybe the uh, archer is still available. But I don't. I I think they're sold out. I'm not positive. But anyhow, um, that's his read up right there on the top. So feel free to pause the video and read it now if you wish. Okay, and it says right here he's a limited edition Army Builder Series. Um, so I guess if he is sold out, that's it. The only way to get him now is on the aftermarket. Um, I'm going to open him up. And we're going to have a look at the figure itself out of the package. Just because I bought him so I could open it. Alright. This is the second one of these that I had. Um, the first one I used the parts to, to doctor up one of my orcs. Because I, I want them all to look different on my shelf. So... <clears throat> This one I may actually keep as is. So let's pop him out of here. As a basic figure, he has limited accessories and, and or paint apps. He's not going to be as extensive as the regular carded figures. But everything you need, he, he comes with basically a weapon, extra set of hands, Here's his figure base, which is pretty standard for the line. Every figure comes with these. Um, yeah, extra set of hands, which I will discuss when I do the articulation. Here is his sword, which is unpainted black. And doesn't really need to be painted. I, I mean, it looks like a piece of slate. It's a, some sort of store uh, stone sword so you could pass this off as a piece of slate and uh, just have that in the figure's hand um, and here's the figure itself let's have a look at what he what he's all about his paint scheme is probably the best uh, best uh, appeal to this guy painted Tattoos all over him. Very cool. Very cool. And of course, this is like a, a knight chest piece so that you can um, put some things from accessory set on him to doctor him up a little bit. Very cool. All right. So let's get on to his articulation. Here's his head. He's on a is on a uh, barbell joint, which allows him to do a full 360 degree turn. He can look up. He can look down. He can rock, tilt his head from side to side, and he should have a rocking motion forward and back slightly. His arms can do a full 360. Can go up about this high which is outstanding there's nothing at the bicep his elbows are pegged in 
and can do a full 360 just about. They can do a 90 degree angle up and almost 90 degrees down. His wrists do a full 360 at the peg. This particular set of hands can angle down and up. You can swap these out with the other hands that he comes with. which can angle in and out. Again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, this, this is done so that no matter what weapon he's holding or activity he's doing, you can make him pose him a little bit more accurately, which I think is a nice touch. All right, he has a barbell peg at his abdomen, at his rib cage here, which enables for a good range of motion right there. Um, as part of his figure construction, there should be a swivel at his waist, but I can't really get to it because of his belt. And it is a tight joint to begin with, usually on most figures. Um, his legs can split about that far. He can stick his leg up about that high. He's got double jointed knees, which enables him to get his heel back about that far. He's got a peg at the at the ankle, which enables his foot to do 360. He's also got a hinge, so he can point his toes down and point his toes up. Very cool figure. And even though he is a basic, he's very unique looking, which is very cool. Get the sword in his hand. Good stuff. So this has been my review of the basic Orc Horde uh, Nocturnal Hunter. He is a cool addition to your Orc army, um, specifically because um, he's unique. He's new, unique looking right out of the package. But you can also add other bits to him to make him even more unique. And uh, basically, the magic you're, it's, sky's the limit. <laughs> so. Hell, even if you wanted to throw a little bit of paint on there, really go a long way with this guy. I do recommend them. If you can find them on the aftermarket at a reasonable price, I do recommend you pick them up. Um, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.